Oh, hey there. Welcome to History Loves Company. I'm Chris Hubble. Or am I? Yes, he is. You may know him from his viral Christmas marketing campaign, or perhaps as the founder of Ink Michigan Realty. Chris Hubble has quickly created a name for himself, becoming Pontiac's top producing agent. Back to you, Chris. <laughs> Love it. Is it a historic home, or is it just old? What makes a home a historic home in the eyes of the law, the public, and the National Register? What National Register, you ask? The National Register of Historic Places, of course. They've got a set of guidelines in place that helps them determine this. First off, does the home have any affiliation with a historic event in our past, such as the Underground Railroad or maybe even the Civil War? Does it tie to any important individuals from our past, such as a president, an inventor, or maybe even just a prominent citizen? Does the home have any distinctive, characteristic construction techniques that add historical value to the home, such as maybe a Frank Lloyd Wright home, for example? Or does it yield important information about a certain period of time in our past? I mean, why does this even matter? Why does it matter if your home is a historic home? Well, you see, there's going to be certain rules and regulations that are going to be put into place on that home, and it may require special permits as well. So a little more work while you're restoring that home, for sure. But on the plus side, there's also funding that is available for the restoration and or the upkeep of these homes, making it less money out of your pocket. So it's super important that you familiarize yourself with these rules and regulations in each individual historic district district because these do change from state to state and also every local ordinance is gonna have a little bit different set of guidelines for you. On top of that, you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you work with professionals who are also very familiar with historic homes for that very same reason. So if you're having a contractor out, a painter, or working with a real estate agent, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you work with one of them that are very familiar with historic homes. So I myself live in the Franklin Boulevard Historic District of Pontiac, and I'm super passionate about these types of homes. My home was actually built 122 years ago. Incredible, right? I absolutely love it. And if you're just looking to become a little more educated on historic homes, you might want to subscribe to this channel because that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about here. So with that being said, remember, every home has a story. Let's discover yours.